Hey Cancer, what's poppin'? It's your boy from Cancer with Stereo coming at you guys with your April 2019 Lux Air rating, okay? Let's see what's poppin' for my Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Cancers. Hopefully you guys are doing fantastic and so let me know down in the comments down below. Uh, keep in mind it's a general read, of course, it may resonate and uh, it may not. If it does, it's amazing. If not, it's not your message. Feel free to watch whatever tarot reader of your choice. Messages can go in reverse or vice versa. Pick whatever side is your story, if this is your story, okay? All right, let's see what's happening here. Links in the description box down below for my Instagram and Twitter. If you guys want to drop a follow, I'd really appreciate that, okay? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, April 2019. Let's take a look and see what's going on for you guys. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, April 2019. All right, let's take a look, baby. I feel like this is going to be a popping ass month. Let's see what's happening for you. Cancer, your overall energy that we have present. King of Wands, okay? Oh, and the Two of Cups under that at the bottom of the deck as well. You may be turning your cheek from a relationship, okay? Or turning your cheek from the idea of having to be with a specific person, okay? Um, in regards to this energy, I feel like it's about you invested a lot of time into someone and you invest a lot of passion into someone. But at the same time, because they kind of give you a cold sense of an energy back, um, you're starting to now be cold to them. Um, I think it's like... You know, you love somebody so much and you care for them, but you they just don't understand how much you care and you can't keep conveying that you want to be with a person when a person is clearly showing signs that they don't want to be with you. So overall with this energy, it's just about, I'm going to turn my cheek, you know? Um, you may be somebody who's a... Uh, resonates with the ascended master jesus which is fine uh you can be christian it doesn't matter um but for those of you that are heavily connected to jesus christ he's going to help you through this tough time um especially if you need healing of the heart okay um overall with king of wands energy being present though i am seeing that it's about turning the other cheek just saying it is what it is and i can't continue to invest in somebody if they're looking the other way towards me okay so let's take a look here and see what's happening you're gonna be feeling a lot good going into the month of april here with the six of wands energy because you're feeling victorious and you're feeling a lot more happy about it okay um you're looking at things from a new perspective and you're looking at things in a new way which is enjoyable to see because cancer you're in this energy overall where it's okay i can still get what i want and it doesn't have to be with this person. It's almost like you're recognizing this person doesn't dictate your feelings, your emotions, and this person isn't the center of your own universe. You're the center of your own universe, okay? So you're shifting your focus into whatever's beneficial for you this month, whether that's money, whether that's focusing on other areas of love, whether that's focusing on friends or family members, okay? You're shifting your focus to where it needs to be applied directly. Now, like I said, who you're dealing with here, Hermit, they're fucking ghosts, okay? This person's literally cast for the friendly ghost. They don't talk, they don't come forward, they don't hang out, they don't do nothing, they don't even respond to a text. So what's the point of texting them anyways, okay? So like I said, King of Wands, whoever you're dealing with, they look away. And guess what? You're matching that energy. Always give people the same energy they're giving you. As for the outcome, the Hierophant energy being present, Taurus energy, this is about you understanding that everything is what it seems okay and everything is exactly what it seems because this person is resp is responding exactly how you think they're responding towards you okay so with the higher fin it's like i learned my lesson what is the point of me looking for that commitment with somebody who is not looking for the same thing that i am so you're recognizing that your values are different with this other person, okay? And what's beautiful about the Hierophant too is that you know you're going to be married one day. You know that you're going to have that loving and committed relationship one day with somebody anyways. So you're keeping your options open here, I feel, with the Hierophant. Learning, and you're also probably reflecting on the relationship too, especially if you're a very spiritual person. You're reflecting on the past relationship, um, or you're reflecting on this person who doesn't want to be with you, and looking at what you learned from them. What did you learn? Like, ugh, what did you learn to grow from them? Okay, is what I'm seeing here overall. So, yeah, it's about a relationship that's not working, which is okay. All right. Sometimes you have to learn to let go of these people, you know? We have a tendency, like, to think that certain people are the one, but you don't really know who the one is until you're there. You see what I'm saying? So, allow things to unfold. Keep that option open. Keep your minds open this month. When it comes towards money, like I said, yeah, too. Here, before I get to the money part. Two of Cups, Ten of Swords, you're ending that um, idea of having to be with a certain person, okay? What was under that as well? And Eight of Wands, communication coming in, people coming in. So new people are coming in regardless for you this month in April, okay? You have new options coming in for you. Now, when it comes towards money this month, Money's feeling good, money's looking good. Um, success and prosperity in businesses that you have. If you're a business owner, your business is doing well. If you are working, there is a possibility for a raise when it comes towards money. Um, I don't know why I have to feel to mention finances. Some of you here may have suffered a financial loss or may have overspent your money during Mercury Retrograde. Don't worry, money's bouncing back in April. Money's good for cancer, so nothing to worry about there. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over whoever you're dealing with here. I'm gonna go over their feelings, your feelings, where energies are aligning, and the outcome for the month of April, okay? Now, in regards to who you're connecting with cancer, Let's take a look. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, April 2019. 
Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and Ten of Pentacles. So whoever you're dealing with very much welcome to be married or in another relationship currently is what I'm seeing. Overall with this person, they're very dodgy towards you. This is a person that likes to come to you when they have no one else. And that's what I feel, unfortunately, okay? They come towards you when they have nobody else. And that's not fair and that's not fun and that's not good, right? Um, this is a person that you've had too many experiences where it was like, oh, we almost got back together because you probably dated this person. But it's like, oh, we almost got back together, but they played with my emotions and left again, okay? Okay, very similar to the Gemini here. You can be on the cusp. We're kind of similar to the Leo, I feel, too. Regardless here, all I'm seeing with this person is that they don't know anything. They don't have their mind made up. And I feel like this has been a story that's been going on for a long time, except you're now changing the story. Instead of focusing on said specific person, instead of focusing and imagining being with them, you are allowing whatever's meant to happen to happen. And you're turning yourself away because you're shifting your focus to what's important towards you. You're recognizing now, Cancer, that you don't need anybody else to make you happy. You don't need anybody else to be the center of your universe. You're the center of your own universe. You're getting shit in check this month, okay? You're very focused this month. You're very determined this month to be successful in whatever criteria is of your life. And also, when it comes towards love, as you're loving yourself this month, you're gaining more attention from people, whether it's the ladies or the men or both. I don't care what you are. You're getting attention, and I like it, okay? Now, let's take a look here and move forward, though. Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. This person you're dealing with here, you know, they... This is a person who's investing time into somebody else. I don't know who it is, okay? But they're investing time into somebody else, and it's so pointless, too. This is almost like the damn Sag reading, too. What the fuck, man? Y'all are all connected. Um, from what I'm seeing here, whoever you're connecting with Cancer, they're investing time into somebody else, but the person they're investing time into doesn't want them anyways. Even if they're in a relationship, like, that person doesn't want them. Whatever, I'm over who you're dealing with. Let's take a look at you, okay? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. April 2019. Take a look. The Magician. Thank you, baby. I love it. That's awesome. Oh, and the star card. I like it, man. That's awesome. See, Cancer, you're motherfucking manifestors, man. Moon magic, okay? We have a full moon coming up. I'm sorry, not a full moon. New moon coming up soon, so take uh, use of that energy. One thing I gotta say straight out the, like right off the bat, Cancer, with the Magician energy here, you really can have a creative month. You're gonna be feeling a lot more creative. For those of you that are now starting to follow your passions and your dreams, you're gonna watch your passions and dreams unfold in front of you, just a side message, okay? In regards to this person, you're moving forward from them, of course, Six of Swords, and you're looking for other people, and there are other people coming in for you, which is good. I'm seeing with the Magician to the Star card, though, it's not even about finding the one anymore. I think that you're kind of over that concept and idea of finding the one. I think you're just starting to enjoy the fact that I can get attention from other people, you know? And you will get attention from other people. It feels right now that you're having a new sense of hope too um, in regards to your love life, um, especially after moving forward from this person. Uh, you're kind of in this space of time where um, you're having new hope, like there are other people out there that are better for me. I think in the past you never believed that. You never believed that there was people out there that are much better than this person. You thought this person was the best thing since white bread. Well, they're not, okay? And you're recognizing that, which is good. And because you're recognizing that, it's like, okay, there are people out there that are really awesome that I can meet, okay? So you're aligning yourself to meet like-minded people, which is good, because you're staying in that energy. So during the month of April, you will be attracting new mates coming in. It could be an Aquarius here, Virgo here that's coming your way. Taurus um, is what I'm seeing so far on the major arcana but you are attracting people in this month which is good because your vibrations in the right place okay to align with those people um anything else before i move forward for cancer yeah you're getting over this x in april 100 percent um i'm seeing that you're done here uh during mercury retrograde you started thinking about them a lot more and you were you know craving them a lot more wanting to be with them a lot more but you're over that space right now you're over that person and during April, you're gonna notice that you don't have the same feelings that you once did for this individual. Therefore, you can now move forward with the next partners that you're attracting in, okay? In regards to where energies are aligning, let's take a look for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, April 2019. Hello, Three of Cups, Eight of Cups, the Judgment card, and the Four of Wands. What did I say about new people coming in? Because look, exactly, it's the story I said right there. When you walk away from the person, okay? Because the person you're dealing with is dealing with somebody else. When you walk away from that third party, that shitty situation, when you walk away from the person that's happy with somebody else and not happy with you, then you start getting guided to where you need to go. And of course, Four of Wands, you're getting guided to your next relationship, okay? Whoever you were dealing with here, they were the one that were blocking you from succeeding, okay? You were letting somebody else take your fucking power away, which you shouldn't do, right? 
But of course, I'm not judging you for doing it. Shit, I'm a cancer. I've done that shit before too. Okay, no judgment zone. Please, people, when I talk to them, think I'm judging. I'm just preaching and that's how I am. But overall, this person took your energy away and they took away, not even took away, they more so blocked you from even having anybody else come in because you were so infatuated and wanted them so badly. But they were just... They fucked you over, man, big time, unfortunately. And it's good though, you gotta realize, it's bitter, but it's so sweet right now because you're recognizing that it's time to move forward. You're recognizing that I'm attracting new mates and you're recognizing that my success is important and you're shifting your focus to that success, okay? And taking your eyes off the other person. So like I said, new relationship coming in. That relationship's manifesting in due to the fact that you're moving on from this person that no longer serves in your energy, and rightfully so. Thank God, Cancer. I know we have difficulties doing that shit, okay? We have difficulties turning our back on somebody, but at the end of the day, it's what needs to be done because you are going to be manifesting in soulmates. Look at that. That's a Ten of Cups and a fucking Lover's card right next to each other. Come on now, all right? As for the overall outcome during your month of April, let's take a look here. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, April 2019. The hangman, there you go. You were brought enlightenment, okay? And the hangman is the delay is over. There is no more delay because you become enlightened. This person was your spiritual block and your physical block from connecting with your next mate, whoever's meant to be on your path. And the fact that you are finally letting go, you are finally being set free. And I enjoy this energy so much for you guys. This is fantastic. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, if it resonates, let me know down in the comments down below. Take care and have a great one. You guys are all awesome. And I will catch you guys for your mid-monthlies where we will go more in depth with what's happening for the next month, okay? This is just a general overview. Thank you guys, bye.